And now a page from our Sunday morning almanac. January 12th, 1896, 118 years ago today. The date of an historic rogue x-ray at Davidson College in North Carolina. On that night, three of Professor Henry L. Smith's students bribed a janitor to let them into the physics lab. There, they made an experimental x-ray photograph of items that included two bullets, two rings, and a finger cut from a cadaver. One of the first x-ray images in America it was hardly the last. The very next month, Professor Smith himself published his own x-ray photograph of a cadaver's hand. Other, more medically beneficial uses of x-rays soon followed. Ghostly and mysterious to the layman, x-rays captured everything from fractures to conjoined twins, and captured the popular imagination, too. From the 1920s to the early 70s, many shoe stores featured x-ray machines. They supposedly helped to assure a perfect fit, but also emitted poorly regulated levels of radiation. Michael Caine used the device to examine mysterious sealed objects in the film Billion Dollar Brain. Can I help you, sir? Eggs. In the 1978 Superman movie, the visitor from Krypton showed off his X-ray vision. What color underwear am I wearing? To a perhaps too curious Lois Lane. Pink. Back in the real world, it's called a backscatter x-ray. Critics call it a digital strip search. The debut in 2007 of airport security scanners that produced all too explicit body images raised widespread safety and privacy concerns. A health study last year concluded, quote, the risk to the individual is thought to be close to zero. While the TSA assured the traveling public just last month, the scanning software now in use creates a generic outline of a passenger. And also, that none of its employees is from Krypton. <laughs> <laughs>